order to find your angle uh, to cut your segments out for the drum, you're just going to go ahead and fold this in half, fold it in half again. You want to be as accurate as you possibly can. Now, I'm sure there is some type of a mathematic equation that you can do, but I don't like math, unfortunately. I know it's a great thing to know, but I don't don't like math. So there's always another way to figure things out. Okay, I got these lines. Now, we'll take an inch and a half on all four of these. Connect those dots. Find the middle of those lines. Now connect those dots. Find an inch and a half from the center on those. Now these, this is where I'm going to stop. I'm going to connect all of these inch and a half marks out from the middle. Now keep in mind, the more segments, say if I put a segment right here, that uh, the more segments you have, the more of a circle you're going to get. Of course, these aren't circles, but if you round off the corners, what do you get? Pretty much a circle. And that's how they usually make drums anyways. For this cajon spin drum, we're not going to bother with the circle. Because then it won't be a box drum. Okay, so you can see how that makes, just for demonstration purposes, I'll draw this circle on here. Okay, now if I was to take out those edges, well you get the picture. If you round out the edges, you get a circle. Okay, in any case, doesn't matter. Now, this line, 
and this line, this point right here, is your angle. Okay? So you can actually cut that out. I'll grab my scissors. Cutting out a piece of the pie. You can, you can take this and line this up to whatever saw you're using. Circular saw, your uh, jigsaw, your... Um, whichever saw you're using. doesn't really matter. And you can get that angle just by putting it on there and adjusting your saw to that angle. Okay.